Hello my sweets, this is Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share that I've joined my first collaboration with some of my amazingly talented YouTube friends. The theme is lemons. So when you're done watching my video, check out the link to the playlist in the description box below to see what my awesome friends created. If they are new to you, be sure to comment and let them know that I sent you. All right, let's get to it. Before I started painting the vase, I removed the label and gave it a good wipe down with rubbing alcohol to remove any oils and dust. I'm using Waverly chalk paint in ivory. It took three coats to cover and I let it dry completely between each coat. Next, taking a ruler and pencil, I mark where I want my next layer of paint to end. Then wrap painter's tape around the circumference of the vase on those marks. To make stripes, I place a piece of tape vertically from the top of the vase down to the horizontal line. I use a small piece of tape as a spacer to lay the next piece. I continue doing this all the way around. I use Waverly chalk paint in the color pool to paint my stripes. I did two coats, letting it dry completely between each coat. Once dry, I took Folk Art Metallic Acrylic Paint in Champagne and painted thin stripes right along the painter's tape. I did one coat, removed the tape, and allowed it to dry. Lay out the napkin and place the vase on top to get an idea of where to cut. Then remove the second ply to prepare for decoupage. Using a brush and working in small sections, paint a thin layer of Mod Podge on the vase, under the stripes towards the bottom. Lay the napkin over the Mod Podge and gently smooth it down. Once the napkin is laid down, gently apply another thin layer of Mod Podge. I purchased these napkins at Hobby Lobby on sale for 40% off of $5.99. Always shop sales or use coupons. Here I'm showing you I Mod Podged a small circle of napkin on the bottom. I didn't care for the abrupt line where the paint met the napkin, so I decided to add a piece of Dollar Tree ribbon. And it's done! Before I started painting this dinner plate, I removed the label and wiped it down with rubbing alcohol. To make the stripes, I placed painter's tape on the back of the plate using the same method as the vase. I came in with the Folk Art Metallic Acrylic Paint in Champagne and painted it thin stripes right along the painter's tape. I did two coats and allowed it to dry. Next, I used Waverly chalk paint in the color pool to paint the stripes. I did two coats, letting it dry completely in between each coat. Once dry, I removed the tape. Some of the paint bled underneath the tape, so I used my box cutter to clean up the lines a bit. Next, I came in with Waverly chalk paint in ivory. 
It took three coats to cover and I let it dry completely in between each coat. As with the other glass pieces, I started this plate by removing the label and wiping with alcohol. On the back of the plate, I used a Sharpie paint pen to draw the essence of a lemon. This portion of the DIY was inspired by a piece of fabric I saw on the Joanne Fabric website. This does not have to be perfect as you can see. Take your time, have patience, and give yourself grace. Next, to color in the lemons and their leaves. In two small bowls, I poured a little water and Elmer's glue. I added three drops of green food coloring in one, three drops of yellow in the other, and mixed thoroughly. Then taking a fine paintbrush, color in the lemons and their leaves. I painted three layers to get the intensity I wanted and let it dry completely between each coat. While the paint was drying, I moved on to making a small slag. I wanted to make lemon branches. To achieve this, I took a greenery bush and lemons purchased from Hobby Lobby and put them together. The greenery and lemons can be purchased at the Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any in my area. I made six lemon branches total. Then taking three of the lemon branches and two crocus flowers from Dollar Tree, I made two clusters. I bound them together end to end with a pipe cleaner. Using Dollar Tree burlap and rustic farmhouse ribbon, I made a simple bow to go in the middle of the swag. When I went to display this swag, it was a little too big for what I wanted. I ended up reducing the size by removing one lemon branch and one crocus flower from each side. I purchased this canvas set at Hobby Lobby on clearance for around $2 because one was damaged. Alternatively, you can use a canvas from Dollar Tree. Begin by removing the canvas from the frame. Next, you'll want to cut your piece of fabric to fit on the back of the frame. I decided to stain my frame using a baby wipe and Waverly Wax and Antique, and then I set it aside to dry. While that was drying, I painted the wooden plaque with Waverly chalk paint in the color pool, making sure to get the sides and then let it dry completely. Then I took this lemon sliced napkin and separated it to apply it to the corner of the plaque. I used a thin layer of Mod Podge on the bottom only. When it was dry, I used my box cutter to remove the excess and then sanded the edge smooth. Now I'm going to transfer my words onto the plaque. Prepare the transfer by turning it over and coloring the back with a pencil. I cut mine apart for easier placement. 
Once I decided where I wanted the words to be, I taped them down. Then using a pencil, I traced over the letters to transfer. If you have a vinyl cutting machine, you can use it and skip this step. At this point, I added a thin layer of Mod Podge on top of the lemon. When it was dry, I traced over the letters first with an ultra fine Sharpie and then filled in with a Sharpie paint pen. I was afraid the Sharpie might bleed on the napkin, which is why I sealed it after doing the pencil transfer. The edge was looking a little plain to me, so I added dashes around the border with a Sharpie. Then to dress it up a little bit more, I used a chip brush and dry brushed ivory chalk paint over the entire sign. Then I sealed the entire sign with matte finish Mod Podge and then set it aside to dry. I grabbed my frame and the picture hanging kit from Dollar Tree. Here I'm showing you one of the eye hooks I pried open a little bit to hang my sign from. I took that eye hook and screwed it into the center inside top of the frame. Now apply the fabric to the back of the frame. If you are using a thinner fabric, you may want to mount it onto a poster board or foam board for more stability. And then trim off any excess you may see when you turn the frame over. Here I'm shortening the twine I'm using to hang the plaque so it hangs in the middle of the canvas. And I secure it with hot glue. To embellish my frame further, I'm going to add some lemons and some greenery. This step is optional. Hang your plaque on the hook and you're all done. Stay tuned to see how I styled these beautiful spring lemon DIYs. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel and select all notifications so you don't miss my next video. Don't forget to check out the link to the playlist in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and remember, Love, inspire, create. See you next time.